ti me lang tobela san bona ni mulwe ni botani apsheng lo chani a ta makwini thoko zani makhosa makhulu zani ba zinkulu ngithi ba yede lisedi ganya Good afternoon. The situation is the situation as it is. Um, thank you for having me once more. Um, yeah, we're gonna get to the update, um, regarding the celebration, but I wanna get um to the point for today's video. Today's video, I want us to talk about the fallacy, um, yoguti. If someone in your family has answered their calling or has accepted their gift, therefore, you guys are scotch free like ni pume ni chaya ni ngapanje ngepeil. It's a fallacy. Um, you know, sometimes when you are descendants of a healer who wants to pass the baton ne? um if someone if no one takes the that baton that is being passed if is kwama salo muntu lo um beganyanga or itasi yalo muntu ebenyanga kwelikhaya ayide ithathwe mtu ne we all then become um victims of um you know um, the darkness that comes with the 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 uh, um the anger we understand from the spirit world because um Kaloku, this is a gift at the end of the day ne? um it has to be accepted by someone i'm saying it's a fallacy Uguti, um because i have answered my calling um and therefore um my brothers are f you know free safe from um you know um, accepting gifts of their own. You understand? I may accept my gift, you understand, but you may find what it's only a part of is pure like I. It's not like I'm not giving everything in its entirety. And therefore, parts of the gift still need someone um, to accept them. And you guys will relax and chill because someone has finally answered the calling and therefore you think you, um, you know, you go on with your life. And then you wonder, why is it that the person that actually accepted the calling is proceeding, um, um, you know, with life, um, you know, um, prosperously you understand they are flourishing um to a point of some family members then begin um to suspect that the person has actually bewitched them because now you know there's that thing <laughs> amongst us african families Uguti, um when you are a, a sangoma or ipeha um when you are practicing and you you begin to you know um you know make moves and look like you are you know <clears throat> uh, moving up the ladder you understand through your healing practice um your family your neighbors your friends um your fellow healers start suspecting that um you have bewitched either you bewitched your family you've um snatched their luck um, you've done magic, cast a spell on someone, you've gone to add on um, to your gifts, you understand? When in actual fact, when you, you've paid your dues, and as such, um, you, you are being rewarded, you understand, for paying your dues. But now their manifestations or their blessings are not manifesting because... They have not answered their own callings. They have not accepted their own gifts. You understand? So all, all I'm trying to come here and explain is, Uguti, guys, let us not um, miss out on, you know, a purposeful life that you can live. You understand? 
um, um, you know, blessings that are due to you, you miss them out because um, you assumed that your sister or your brother that accepted their calling has done it for you as well. Hence, I say it's a fallacy. You know, when there is, when you are, a, when you are descendants of a healer, ne? when you come from a family of healers, sometimes we all need to be cleansed. We understand we may may not have, not all of us may have the gift of healing, but we may have to be healed. We understand we may have to be cleansed you understand um um in recognition of is karma that has to now you know that is brought to life again yet again i'll i'll make this example for example tinama khosa ne kuyenzeka kufike undwendwe lasengetheni you understand, understand? ekhaya phakathi nekhaya when that happens um kuthathwa into ngakuyiwe eqhrheni Lisa uti ikrika kukwi tasi ye kwele. Itase nga kitu wanga. You understand? Um, ifu nu kitu. Kukwi kwele. Kukwi mduwa ipati tasi kule kule kukwe likaya. Kuno mduwa ipati skwa magle likaya. You understand? Someone used to be a healer in this in this home. So therefore, um, now they they want to pass on their healing um, 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 capabilities to a person that is alive, a, a descendant of theirs, we understand. Um, bafunu kilusi kwama, we understand. Um, let's kwama kota. You can't take on a, 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 a gift, you understand, from someone else without cleansing that person, you understand. The spirit salo amundu. We akezwa umundu otwasa ngaye, for example. Ya sanzulu ulwa itas. Siya kezu iskwama. And th that is not the duty of only the person that is accepting the gift. That is the duty of all of us as descendants of, of, um, of that healer. <sighs> that has passed on. Itas ukitwa kwe tas. Klasiti kusikusha itas. Ye kwele. It's not only the responsibility of Mundo Twasai. All of us, it's really kaya, um, for example, um, sebenz wem, ukoko tatobao. Guys, I've just been disturbed. A, yo, a, a huge amount of money just reflected on my phone. Now I'm tempted to switch off and check if. That money is due to me, or if I owe, actually. But as a collab, unzo bega zela ne ngizo ngete mese ngia check unzo chelaxas uze yam or imina ngia kolota. Anyway, indeed, umze kelo ne si ane city tina makosa. Agu kumbro tuasa yoparati kwe kai. Pam koba si tuasi seye na sim valele we vagemo um si ane city kuse ukuba ikaya. Li fukame, li dudele u koko kazi, li zilele u koko kazi, koko tato ba wo umni kazi, wens imbi, kunyangu umilambo, parati kwel kai. Tina makosa, that is our own way of cleansing. Ngo ba egu valerwa ni kwenu, ni kiswa iyeza lomlambo. Ani valelu. Nicha isi lau. Jongo ba ni valelu. Nichuku kyo kusulu ngegleyo. Ogu ngena mafuta. Ogu ngena kiwa. That is cleansing. Nikajwa udaka luka nungkala. That is cleansing. Na ukiba kani puma ni ya gajiswa. That is cleansing. Na ukiba kani puma ni ya vaswa. Ola daka. Luhanji swe. Luswe manzini. Pi kulo koko gazi, koko tato bao, ebe simzilele. Umni gazi, wenzimbe. Umni gazi wukulo gumshope, umni gazi wubukaka. Then lo ukula yoge ngugu, may proceed. Kodwa songe si teni, si, 
si 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 nyangi we umlambo kwe lkai. So, I, 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 I point in it, it is not only the responsibility of a person with a gift or um, um, with a calling um, ukutanzululwa kwe kaya, kananga ba kufunega ngoku kufuke, obu bukwanyi, obu bunyangi, pakati kwe kaya. Look, anduwa lwe tu si sonke. Sa ukubake ngoku, ah, mbeye na, indlela ya kiubuka. Anda no anduwa kele na, guys, anduwa yenza ande, ne? Um, your questions down below. Please share my videos. Don't skip the ads because, yo, guys, on the 23rd in Bangumdong, because we get paid, especially when you've watched our ads, the ads on our videos. Mm. So please do me that favor. I'm drinking Moringa. Moringa tea. Um, my next cup will be chia seeds. And then once in a while, I also have, um, it's turmeric powder, which I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are familiar with, which I mix with, um, garlic and onion. Ne? This I got from a YouTuber, someone that watches my YouTube, um, videos. Um, they sent... This package by Korea and it arrived safely and now I am I'm on my path to leading a healthy life so on that note thank you guys thank you for all the beautiful things you send my way um, once in a while um, that's it for now maybe I will come up with a video you know giving an update on the celebrations um but for now i just felt like i need to post because i haven't posted in a few days and i don't want to lose the momentum otherwise go busy go hectic um thank you guys um for tuning in bye